Hello there friends, Veronica Jean here. In this video, I'm going to unbox and review some art supplies that I ordered from different shops on Shopee. Hopefully, this will serve as a guide for you if you are interested in buying some of these. Here's our first parcel from overseas. I'll be leaving all the links of the products in the description box below. These are two sets of Shin Bawen paint brushes, filbert and flat brushes. As you can see, they're very soft and flexible. I bought filbert and flat sets because I'm gonna be using them for my acrylic and oil paintings. And this is one of my recent paintings. I failed to record the process of this, but I'll be making one in the future. Make sure to follow me on Instagram if you want to check them. I recommend these very affordable and good quality brushes. Here's the second one locally from M. Enriquez Art Supplies. And yep, the packaging is great to protect the materials inside. These are mediums for oil painting, turpentine and linseed oil. I also bought these palette knives number 1019 and 1015 to mix the paint easier. Next up is a hat and a set of paint brushes again. This one has a terrible packaging as you can see. It's a parrot hat, the one artists wear. It has a great quality though for a cheap price. I think it's cute so I bought it. set of paint brushes. It's 10 pieces round brushes made of nylon as well, same with the Shin Bowen. And these are Touch Cool alcohol markers, set of 80 pieces. They're in a pouch like this but I lost mine. These are dual tip markers, has a broad and fine tip. I also have this Touch 5 alcohol markers, set of 30 pieces. Same with the Touch Cool, it's dual tip. The only difference is that it has a white body. Let's try them. See this mess? It's annoying to keep them like this. So luckily, I bought these plastic pen holders. The markers perfectly fit in each slot. This one has 40 slots so I bought two for the black markers and the other one has 30 slots exactly for the white ones. And let's put them in! Here are some of my works using the markers on the Limelight sketchbook. I can say that they have great quality for a very affordable price. I definitely recommend using them if you are into illustrations, this is a good material to use. I made this Iron Man and Spider-Man drawing last year and until now I haven't finished any of them yet. But I'm already quite happy with the result.
This is Artline Sticks Brush Markers, a set of 12 colors. They're super cute, you can create fun patterns by connecting them like blocks. It's also very flexible. If you want to learn how to do calligraphy, you can watch my video tutorial on that. I recommend these brushes especially for beginners. And the last one is this Materini watercolor sketchbook, A6 size. It's very handy and perfect for traveling and doing on-the-spot plain air sessions. And here are some of my terrible unfinished watercolor paintings. And this Galaxy one has a video tutorial, you can watch it here. And also this one. Sketchbook's quality is also great. The texture is rough and is about, I think, 280 GSM, so it's very thick. You can paint on back to back sides. And there you have it! I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll probably make another one like this where I'll be sharing with you all the materials I use. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't, and hit that notification bell button to be notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you and goodbye!